Hey guys, somebody wrote me a message. Hey Uncle Steph, can you make a video about real dev workflows using references and docs slash tutorials versus coding everything from scratch from memory? Tons of my friends, myself included, thought we weren't good enough unless we could code everything from memory like the movies, which stalled us for months. First of all, the movies don't believe them in anything. Lesson number one about software development. Memorization is not important whatsoever. What's important in software development is conceptual understanding, conceptual understanding and best practices. I literally today don't remember hardly anything. If you ask me to write a simple class uh, in Java, I probably mess up the syntax now, uh, like right now, because I haven't written Java code actively in years but that's why god invented integrated development environments ides that's why that's why the gods invented google and chat gpt and cloud and all these things you just use references all the time i used to have this is pre uh, internet well pre uh, the web being useful i had stacks and stacks of tech books uh, big, thick computer books that everybody used to buy back in the day before Google came out. And I used to reference those things those things constantly. Yes, when you get in the groove, you start writing an app in whatever language. We'll say Java, since I was talking about Java. Uh, you start writing your app in Java. And of course, once you get into the groove and you start, you know, I remember, you know, you start writing some GDPC, you start writing your JSP, you start writing your serverless codes, whatever. Then you're going to start memorizing at that point. But I can guarantee you, you know, if two years later you haven't written any Java code, you're going to forget. You're going to forget. So, no, memorization, it's, uh, it's, it's not important. Again, conceptual understanding is far more important than memorization. Understanding design patterns, understanding refactoring, understanding these basic concepts, best practices, that's all that matters. Understanding when it makes sense to use a NoSQL database, a database versus an SQL database, database. That's what's important. Knowing when to use one or the other, or maybe an object-based database. Understanding when it makes sense to use Java or C Sharp or JavaScript or PHP or never Ruby. These are the things that define a good developer. So yes, definitely reference everything. That's why we have double IDEs, right? Integrated development environments, code editors. They, you know, they do code completion, especially with the modern tools with AI. Now, memorization is, I don't know, it's only important for very basic things like, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's about it. Uh, in terms of code, etc. As I said, you know, I, I've written commercial software in nine different languages over the years and i forget most of it but most importantly though i remember conceptually so if i went back to write some java code uh, i would get back into it within in minutes right if i went back to write some c-sharp code it would take me you know maybe 20 minutes to get into the flow of things again because i start writing it and the ide would be code completing but what makes the difference between great software and not so great software is not whether you can memorize a particular method in, uh, in Java or in C Sharp. What makes the difference between great developers and uh, not so great developers, the difference is, again, conceptual understanding, understanding when to use a particular tool or another, no SQL versus SQL database versus strongly typed languages versus not strongly typed before. Although, in that regard, you know, one camp would say you always want to use strongly typed languages, but that's another debate. So yeah, don't worry about memorization. That's only important in school. Uh, it's always about concepts, it's always about methodology. It's always about uh, best practices. That's really makes the difference with uh, software development.